Hello and how are you? My name is Mohindo Mubarak and I welcome you to our 17th lecture of creating a complete inventory management system with its perspective uh, mobile application. We always do 40 minutes and you can see our timer has started. So without wasting a minute, let's go straight into our today's business. So there we are. Uh, in the previous lecture, we managed to create a powerful um logic of creating an api dynamically where you just send the endpoint and then they automatically uh, create for you the what that record okay so in this lecture i hope you are able to understand what we did in the previous uh lecture so in this lecture we are just now going we are, we are now going to work with the what with the edit logic we're going to work with the what with the edit logic So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I uh, will go ahead and just duplicate this one since they are going to look the same. So I'll come into environment, I'm into our model, and then I just duplicate this one and then come here. So it's going to duplicate almost everything and then just come here and just put edit so okay so what we're going to do right now is to do the logic of edit so on the edit um it is almost going to be the same okay but the only difference here when you're editing i want us to be sending the what the id Okay, of that particular item that want to edit. So that's what I want us to do. So you should be sending the ID of the item that you're editing. All right. So here at last, so this is the edit logic. So here at last, I want to be sending the ID. So for example, I send one. That is the first uh, financial. All right. Let's see what we got here at, at the response. So the ID of, okay. Let's say that you're creating uh all right, I don't even remember it. Okay, let's say, okay, let's just send one as the ID of the financial period that you're doing what that you're going to create. So if you come here to our database, you of course, you've come here to financial period, you'll see that. Um, financial period is supposed to be there, but I'm not seeing it. All right, let's see. So it is here with the company ID number six. So why is one seeing their financial period? So we come here to company profile. Oh, this is company number seven. Okay. So we did a mistake. So this is company number seven. So come here to environment and update. So company. I mean, so come to environment and update. So this is company number seven. Yeah, I think that is very important. All right. Yeah, I just mismatched the companies. All right, so let's go ahead and try to create. I come here back to create and I try to send. So you can see it has created successfully. So if you come here to, you'll see that they now have a what? A financial year. So if I come here to edit, I'll be able to see this financial year. Okay, so uh, now you see this financial year, its ID is four. So if you want to update it, I'm going to create here another endpoint, which is called edit. Okay, and it's going to accept the ID okay so the id is going to be important there all right so there there we go okay so i'll be specifying the id so if it is create i'll be specifying i'll not be specifying the id something like that all right so let's go ahead and do this okay so let's go ahead and do this 
uh, now so I'm just going to use the same endpoint the same endpoint I'm just going to just change the logic all right so uh, here uh, where there is new okay so instead of creating new let me find the object if it has this ID okay so I say object equals to uh, the model so this model find ID so I check if it is null if it is null that's when I'll go ahead and do what and create a new one like this so unless it is null then I'll go ahead and create a new one so that is how we can check that okay if something is null then uh, create new one so if it is not null so you see here I'm finding the, uh, the product with that particular ID so if it is not null if it is not null it is goes ahead and create a new one if it is null I mean sorry if it is null it goes ahead and create a new one if it is not null then it means that everything that we're going to do it's going just to be updating the existing one I hope you can see that if it is null I create a new one if it is not null then it means that it's going to skip this one and then that you're going to do what to do the whole logic and even updating its keys all right so maybe here I may need to do something called I may need a variable called task okay maybe I can say maybe I can say is edit so by default it is editing okay so it is edit otherwise if it is not edit if it if it is null let me that it is what it is ed not editing it is creating all right it is creating like this so you can see that so everything is going to remain the same everything is going to remain the same uh laravel has already solved that problem for us so everything is the same here now here instead of saying is created successfully i can just simply put if is edit i can say update successfully if it is credit i mean creating i can say created successfully like this so there we shall be able to know okay it was successfully edited or it was successfully created so you can watch this this uh method it is very powerful method you can watch it again and again and make sure that you understand okay once you understand it it means that you are going to be able to create a powerful dynamic uh, api so that's it i think that's it so if it is edit we'll try to find something that has an id that has been set if it's not there then create a new one so let's go ahead and test this so i'll, I'll go to a postman So I'll go to our postman, sorry about that. I'll go to our postman here, and uh, you see, so the unique part about editing is that we are sending the ID, okay? So I try to send the ID, so you'll see the response, the response updated successfully. So that is so nice. Uh, let me put the message on top here. The message should always be on top, for example, maybe. It is so... I'll come here to the success response. Let me put the message come first after the code and also here message come first after the code. All right, so let's try to send. Hope you can see that. Can you see that? Updated successfully. So let's say maybe, uh, let's try to really change something. So let's say that maybe the year will end in 2026. I'll come here and change in 20, 2026. Okay, I just change, I send, update it successfully. So if I come here and refresh, you'll see it has changed 26. That is very, very powerful thing. That is very powerful. Trust me. All right, so that's beautiful, isn't it? It is beautiful. All right, so that's that's all. That's all. That's all about creating. Okay, so let's work with the listing. Okay, so uh, let's work with the what with the 
simple uh, listing. Uh, all right. Okay, so let's start with the list. Uh, now I want to, we are finished like uh, this logic of creating. Now you want to get a list of your financial years. Okay, so I'll just duplicate. Okay, uh, let me duplicate and then we shall change things. So when I duplicate, of course, it comes with the headers and the rest. So make sure that everything is there. So I'll do the same thing. So here I'm just going to change here the word to list. And then I'll change the method. To get okay so that's the list method then I can remove this body data when you're listing you don't need like a uh, body I mean something like that I can remove the body okay so uh, let's go ahead and uh, and and see you what you've got okay let's go ahead and see what you've got let's go ahead and see what you've got all right uh, all right so uh, list so uh, we come back to our API so everything is the same but only this one will only listen to us to get so I just change only the get method I mean the method to get uh, so I can change here maybe to my update to my list get okay, something like this then I go to this method this one I collapse it press enter I'm going to select it all beginning from here up to here then I copy it, come here on top, okay, and I paste it. So you have two methods of update that my update. So I just come and change this one from my update to list, something like this. So just going to create a simple list method. However, you can do what you can, uh, you can, you can, you can. You can create uh, complex things, but for me, I'm just going to make a simple one only a simple one however you can i trust me you can make more powerful thing than this one okay you can make something that is more powerful than this one all right so what i'm going to do here so the thing is we're going to get the, the 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 data so it is having same request and the model and then it gets the user and check if the user is logged in and then after it gets the model and then these others as well everything is going to change okay let's change up to here so this is all what we need all right so uh let's go ahead uh for example we may say that um i i'm trying to think that uh almost everything here is protected almost everything is private okay so what if we put on everything we put a what a where company id is something like that i think that will be helpful however you can think of better way okay so in case maybe you want to send an a query you can send it through the link and then also pass it directly to what to uh the database okay uh, so, but you see, since our mobile app, almost everything that we've been doing here, it has a what? It has a company ID. So let's go ahead and make sure that everything that we're sending back is having a company ID. So I can just simply say data equals to the model where, so I put where, company ID, I get the person who is logged in and get his company ID. All right. And then I just return uh utility success and set data like this something like that i think that's it so i can say the success list is successfully so i think that's it all right so let's go ahead and try this i hope you can see that i hope you can see that <laughs> hope you can see that and you can understand what it is only maybe some data can become too much so maybe i can put maybe limit limit maybe a uh, thousand records <laughs> let's say, okay limit is going to be ten thousand records so that's maybe the uh, capacity of our application 
maybe 10,000 records, maybe 100,000 records. If you have more than 100,000 records, then you should pay for the premium. All right, you can do something like that, okay? Um, you can as well pass queries. You can as well pass the queries and pass them here and add them on this uh, where. Yeah, you can as well do that. But for now, let's keep it simple like this. I don't want to confuse you more. But when you proceed to complex things, you'll need even to pass the queries, all that thing, all those kind of things. But for now, let's keep this one like this. Okay, so here it just gets to you, for you, with this limit. All right, let's go ahead and try to get this list. So when I come here, I change the method to get. Okay, I remove this bulk data. I remove just the form i don't need it i just need only the header of a person who is logged in and i try to send boom can you see listed successfully so can you see it was able to get for us only our financial year our financial year only it did not bring other things so that is very very nice okay that is very very nice and very very powerful so it means that we can just specify what you want here and then it will send a request and then do for us whatever I want and send back to us. That is very powerful, isn't it? It is powerful. That is very, very powerful. I hope you can see that. So if you want also maybe everything that something that is being created is locked to that company, you can just simply use here. You get this user and just put company ID to that thing that is being created in this mode. Okay? And just maintain that. All right, so that's it. So it means that you can create, you can edit, you can. For example, let's come here to create. So if I come and say create, you'll see it has already, we already have an active financial year. So I'm going to come here to edit and I'm going to change this. Okay, edit. And I come here to the form. Okay, where there is active, I'm just going to put in inactive, something like that. So I'm deactivating this here using the API. Submit, because its ID is 4, so I make sure it is updating. Submit, so updated successfully, and you can see there is now inactive. And then if I come here to create, I submit, let's say maybe this one is 2023. 2020 what? 2024. You see? 2023, 2024. I mean, say, yeah. 2023, 2024. And maybe it starts the 2023. And it ends 2024. I mean, we didn't the same. I tried to submit. You see? Create successfully. And then it's ID number 5. So it means that our API can be able to do what? To change something. Alright? Now, if you come here to get, so you should expect 2 years. Submit. You'll see? Here, yeah, they're getting, sorry, send, sorry, something's not right. So let's go ahead, for your company ID, equals to this company ID, All right? So let's go to, yes, we're supposed to get at least two years. What could be wrong? So company ID number six, come here and see company ID number seven. So there is something not right. So I think in the headers, the header, I have to save. Header is okay. You see there's a problem i think uh, we need just to lock this one here let's lock this one that everything that is going to be passing through this dynamic its company id will always be of a user who is doing what who is logged in so after the loop and everything we make sure that the company id is the person who is logged in I think that one will help that computer that we're trying to create. All right, let's go ahead and submit. 
you see we have financial so let's go ahead and click on edit so let's get this id okay so let's come here so here they have company i mean the financial year called the three so i'll come and edit this one okay so i'll just get number three and then i come here and i put see inactive i make it inactive so i've deactivated it i come here and create send see has been created successfully so if i come here and send a request you see i now have two financial years you see i now have two financial years so this will help us not to do that and that with the companies all right so that is very nice that is very nice so that is it and that's it we have finished the creating the updating and the listing so we can proceed to another thing let's proceed now to the what Alright, let's proceed now to another module. Okay. So we're finished. We have finished the financial period. Then we go to employees module. Okay. Let's go to employees module. Alright, so I'll just simply duplicate this financial period. So you're creating now the API. Okay. You need to go to employees module. So make sure that you understand everything here and make sure that everything is working perfectly. Don't give up before you. You can even pause the video and copy and paste. You see, let me move the thing slowly. You can copy that. Go ahead and copy this. Go ahead and copy this. Make sure that it's working if it is not working. And this is for my list. Okay. All right. So now let's go ahead and proceed to financial uh, to employees. Eh? Employees. So just simply go ahead and duplicate this. So. I'll come here and edit this one, rename. This one is called employees. So I'll come here and rename it as employees. So it's a section of employees. All right, so begin with employees creation. So you know, employees is a what? Is a user model. So I just simply put here, the user. So employees, they are using what? The user model. So you see, the employee controller, we are using the user mode. So I'll just simply come here and put user like this. All right, so we are just testing now. We are creating as we are testing. So come here to edit. Now imagine that you're having like so many things and you have to create API for each. Right, come here to the, to the inventor track. Come to what? To admin users. I think that's where we're having our table. Admin users. So I'm just going to copy all. I'm just going to copy all the names here. I just collect, I press here and I be like selecting. Okay, so I select all the names in the table, the top, the table columns. Then I come to employees here, what is create. Just come here to where there is, a, so I have to change here the name to what? To employees create. Okay, come here and just. I can remove this company ID because it is being fetched from the other side. Come here to bulk, select all, and paste there my own. Okay? So click save, control S in case you want to have this structure. Okay, so let's now see things that we need about the employee. So delete this username. Okay, so here, username, username, username. I can say maybe employee one, and then password 4321 maybe. And then, um, sorry, we don't need username, I think. We need email. Okay, let's put username and Okay. Right. Then, uh, password for the one name. Uh, employee. Me, I like doing it in bulk. Whoever can use also the other side. Employee. Employee one. Avatar. We don't need that. I remove it. Remember token, we don't need it, I remove it. Create that, we don't need it, I remove it. I'll do that, I don't need it. Company ID, we don't need it. It will be done from the other side. First name, 
implo implo ye and then user a last name one a phone number and then uh phone number two you can leave that one address Uh -huh. six then dob status active okay i hope you can see that so that is all right that is all right and then maybe you can put email i think email can be employee one at gmail.com all right so that's it for creating an employee all right let's go ahead and submit so you can click here to preview things properly let's go ahead and submit and see if it really submits submit you see powerful it has been what it has been submitted successfully so we come here to the dashboard and refresh sorry this is the administrator's dashboard Super admin dashboard. Let me come to the, the dashboard of this company. It is this one here. Put it nearby. I have, so if I come and you see, they had only one employee. That is the user itself. So if you come and refresh here, oh, he's not there. So I have to fix that. Okay, who is this user, by the way? We are, we are logged in using a wrong user. Okay. Is here when you are creating it. We are new creating the, the thing. We are using a wrong user. So we have been mismatching these ones. So let me log in this one, both 360. Come here to log in. So put the email. Mobile office. I think we have been mismatching. So here I have to log out and I log in like this one. Okay. Come to employees. There's still one. Right. So I have to come to uh, to login. So there it is. Okay. So when I click on login, when I click on login, you'll see my ID is number nine. So let's come to environment. This is the mistake that you've been doing. Okay, ID is number nine. All right, that's okay. Logged in user ID. Okay, so let's come here to, to employees create. Come here to header. Of course, number nine. All right, then that's not right because we're supposed to have these employees listed here. Right, let's go ahead and see the last user who has created and see their ID. So this is why we are testing to see if there's any error. All right, so employee one, okay, it belongs to each company. It belongs to company number six. Why is this six there? Why is this six there? Sorry, company ID number six. Play one. And uh, when you log in here, the company ID for this is number six, of course. Number six. All right, now let's try and see. Now, when you logged in here, so everything is all right now. Okay. So, uh, if you come at company, we like editing it. Here it is showing that company is number seven. So, what is not what is not right here? Let's go ahead and see uh, from the users, mobile three sixty. 
his company is number seven okay his company is number seven i think we're having someone who has our username i think that's the problem okay i have seen the problem you see here when you're logging in when you're logging in you're not putting mobile 360 i'm logging in another person yep so send i think this is now the right person so i'll just go ahead and copy this user id number 10 you see and then come and do it and then come and put it here and the environment and the user ids and then i put here user id number 10. you no longer need this variable of company since we, we have accepted that we shall be using it from the other side all right so you see i think that's it so i save ctrl s aha uh -huh. now let's go ahead and create another employee so here come come to employee create i just send the same employee so you'll see that uh, the duplicate of employees okay so i'll have to come here and change the email so company id number two and now go ahead and send let's see created successfully so if you come here and refresh come here to employees you'll see now he has uh, two employees he has two employees that is very nice so if I come here again and try to change employee number three, send, come and refresh on the dashboard, three employees. That is very nice. So it means that our API can send data to the what? To the server. All right. So that is great. We proceed to our edit. So edit, I'll just simply copy. I, just, I can just simply duplicate this. So I can just delete this one and just yes, duplicate this create we know how edit works duplicate uh, sorry we duplicate this create okay and just rename this one from create copy to edit so the only difference so the form will remain the same the only difference is this one will have a what an id id equals for example can get the employee this first one which has id number 10 i can just simply say id is number 10 all right so now if go ahead and uh, i send for example let's go to this very last one id number 14 so i go ahead and send id number 14 so now i have to specify the id for the last value so if i send you see that updated successfully let's try to change his name So I can say maybe employee four. Okay. I go ahead and send. Update it successfully. If I come here and refresh, you'll see four has changed. So that is the power that you need. That's great. All right, let's go with listing. They are boring, but they are worth it. Let's go on listing. So the list here we shall just change this one from financial period to user i think that's all for it we don't need to register so I click send you'll see list is successfully and we're having all the users okay all the users have come you can collapse this one okay so you can collapse this one you can collapse this one you can collapse this one so you can see all the users have come all right that is so nice all right we proceed we proceed so we have finished create we have finished edit we have finished list that's all you need about uh creating what creating the api for the employees we proceed to the next api to the next module the next module is gonna be categories so categories okay so you're just going to duplicate this one duplicate it 
come here get store categories talk categories like this so that is the name of our what of our module all right so store categories create so we'll go ahead and get the store category what uh class name okay stock category which is this one here copy that come and paste here okay now when i click on send I mean, oh, okay, create, oh, we can create, right? So I just come here to body and then click on bulk here. Bulk edit, I can collapse, I can scroll this one down here. All right, so this bulk edit. So I can delete everything there. Then we go to our table of store categories. Stock categories this one here i'll just go ahead and copy all its what all its uh, all its uh, i'll go ahead and copy all its column names okay and then come here in bulk edit and i paste them here okay so i remove these other garbage things then press ctrl s in order to save them so created art i can remove it Updated art, I can remove it. Company, I can remove it. Okay. So, store category, name, test, name, description, some, description, some status, I mean, status, active, and image, I can leave it as empty for now. Uh, all right, this image you're going to come back for it. <laughs> There's another uh, wall of images. Let's leave this one for now. We'll launch it in the next lecture how to work with images uploading using API. All right, let me just remove it for now. That is very another interesting part. Uh, buying price. I can say maybe. Okay, this one is automatic, 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 automatic. So, this is what we need. Okay. So, if you come here to this user and click on store categories, his store categories is empty. So, let's go ahead and submit. So, let's just first edit this one. So, maybe since it is under store categories, you can leave it as create. So, store category under it, there's create. Then, you can put here yeah, edit and then update something like that. So, everything is okay. Submit. So, we're expecting success, created successfully. Come here and refresh, you'll see store category has been created successfully. That is beautiful. All right, we just come here to edit one. So I'll just change this name and remove that employees. I just put edit. So the edit, only the difference is, so I'll just simply come and copy this bulk data because I need it. Copy it, come here to edit, and then come here to uh, can change this data to bulk data paste that one so i can say maybe i put a full stop there to make sure that it's working and then after i go ahead and uh, and what and add the id okay id like this so let's see id for this one is four so i'll just simply put here four let's go ahead and send ah uh, perfect successfully so what did it change? We just added the full stop at the end of the name. So if I come and refresh, you'll see. Uh, did it work? Okay, update successfully. Oh my God, this is user, not uh, the store category. So I'll just come and copy this endpoint. Come here to where there is edit, and then put endpoint store category. So try to send updated successfully. Come and refresh here. Everything is all right. Okay, so we we'll go to the list. Just copy that. And then come and put here list. Submit. You'll see listed successfully. Those are the store categories. So let's try to create here a second one.
kutoka text category maybe two save create send everything is okay come here to list you'll see that you're having let's create another one on the see so it is successfully but if you come here to list of we have to change the word store category be careful with that so i'll come and change this one to this one to store category and then change this one let me just change the word to list submit we are able to see three subcategories that we've just created three categories come and refresh here yeah there are three so that is uh, the beauty all right so yeah that's it and the next lecture we shall begin by finalizing the remaining word endpoints so you see how it has made our work very very easy otherwise we will have done the same logic again and again and again and again and again but just creating that powerful endpoint it will be able to uh, simplify your work so you as will be just to test and make sure that things are working uh, properly in all of them and then at the end of the day you'll be able to proceed with now uh, creating what uh, creating uh, the mobile application all right that's it for today uh, we meet in the next lecture and i hope uh, this was helpful uh, make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel and make sure that uh, you are not left behind all right see you in the next lecture and goodbye and in the next lecture we are going to do what you are going to finalize this api and if possible we publish it online so don't miss